focused on the cause makes this a very good keyword for Poppin, for our company, because she's indicating commercial intent. She's indicating that she feels that her problem is because of the office chair. Um, now, if you realize, if you, or, or if you notice that um, in this query where she asks the question itself, right? How can I fix my back problems from sitting all day? And then we come down to this query, which is my back hurts because I'm sitting in an uncomfortable chair. These are very, very different queries and they would mean very, very different things. So for a company like Poppin, right? So um, let's say this query, which is the question itself, is less viable and this query, my back hurts because I sit in a chair, in an uncomfortable desk chair, is much more likely to be a good keyword, right? But let's say we take a, um, a doctor, right? A doctor, let's say a chiropractor. So if we have a doctor, the doctor would f find this keyword much less viable because it's clearly indicating she's looking for a desk chair, not necessarily she's looking for a doctor. And the doctor might actually want a, to bid on this query. How can I fix my back problems from sitting all day? Because he could he could hedge his bets, bid on this keyword, hoping to convert Jennifer into a new patient. So that's kind of the interesting back and forth that you have to assess on an individual basis, um, each of your keywords. So let's move on. Um, description of the cause, okay? So we have the description of the cause we, we, we just spoke about, and the next type of um, category over here is brand names and product parts. This is something which is less common, but extremely, extremely important to focus on. It's the most direct and educated buyer psyche. Um, this column, we didn't point that out, but this column is the overall buyer psyche. Um, if, if, a, if a customer is using the brand name or a product part or a manufacturer part number, MPN, um, or the model number of a sneaker. If somebody's looking for running shoes and they type in um, Sakani uh, Gel Maximum uh, 1025, that is golden opportunities for advertisers because we're talking about, we're clearly talking about an educated consumer because they know the product, brand, the, the category, and they're clearly indicating that they um, want information on that very specific um, product or service. So that's a very, very important category to keep in mind. So it's the most direct and most educated. And an example of that is Poppin Max Mid Back Task Chair. And that happens to be um, one of the products on our site. Um, so that's a very important keyword to keep in mind. We want to bid very aggressively on this because this is somebody who is most likely later on in the buyer journey and looking to make a purchase. We then have what's most likely the broadest and most general way people search Google, and that's informational queries. It's usually indicative of somebody not in the buying phase yet, someone more in the awareness stage, uninformed stage, but it's very, very hard to know. Um, informational uh, queries such as online desk chairs, websites that sell office chairs, it's clearly people looking for information, but they don't indicate to us exactly what type of information. Now, we could have an informational query like, where could I buy an online desk chair right now at full price? That would be an, that would be, um, an informational query um, that's extremely, extremely high in commercial intent and we would want to be extremely aggressive in that keyword. That would still be considered an informational query, but most informational queries um, don't have that level of detail in the query itself and we generally want to be more careful and, and also once again assess things on an individual basis. So it's important once again to start really getting a sense of what these queries are, what the different types of psychological mindsets queries represent. Once again, people don't search the same way. People are using a query to describe the way they feel to communicate with the search engine what they want and what they need. And it's our job as advertisers to pick up from them, to understand from them how likely they are to buy or where they are in the buyer journey and um, what, how much money or, or is it worth it or is it financially viable for us to try to capture this lead. And these 
types of queries are ways for us to start thinking about things in a more detailed and segmented way. Um, it's not answers. I mean, type the, the type of query in the buyer psyche. These are not rules. They don't apply the same way. Sometimes we'll have a query that's the answer to the question that they have. Um, that's the highest in commercial intent. It has, shows the highest buyer intent, and we want to bid aggressively. But this is more to get you um, thinking in terms of these categories. So once again, just to quickly review, we have six major types of queries that are performed on the search engines. People will type in the answers to their question. People might type in the question itself, a description of the problem, a description of the cause, brand name, product parts, and informational queries. I mean, we could probably think of just another idea um, off the bat. Uh, let's say we have a person who has a, a toothache, right? So we're a dentist. Um, we're advertising for a dentist's office, and a person has terrible toothaches. And um, it's the middle of the winter, it's freezing cold, and you're a local dentist, and you have a beautiful, warm, um, loving environment in your office. So somebody might come to Google, and what would be a query that would be under this category, answer to the question? Um, take a second to think about that. What would be a query that would be the answer to a question? So I would say a potential query that would be the answer to the question is um, where do I find a local where do I find a local dentist that that handles toothaches toothaches um, or dentists let's see that treat toothaches you know that is a good one so this would be the answer to a question and she knows that her answer is a dentist. She knows that she needs a dentist and that would be a high commercial intent. The question itself is what, this is an easy one, what to do for a toothache. Okay, so that would be a uh, the question itself. Description of the problem, right? So she might not even know that it's called a toothache. She might know it's called a toothache. Um, she might say my, um, you know, she might say tooth has been killing me, you know, recently. So that might be a good description of the problem keyword. Description of the cause. Um, toothache because I um, fell and smashed my mouth. That would be a description of the cause of her pain. And this is something ha that many people will use Google to search for. They're not necessarily asking a specific question, they're just describing the cause. And then brand name product parts, that doesn't really translate so well um, to this scenario, although it could if a person's looking for a specific device or a specific medication that a dentist provides, but they also might be looking for a specific doctor. So this would be a branded term. So let's say the, um, you know, uh, smile, smiles dental uh, near me. Okay, so if someone's heard of you. Your name, our name is Smiles Dental. They, they, you know, they've heard of us, but they have never been to us. They're not a patient. And they're going to go to Google and then type in Smiles Dental near me. And if you're Smiles Dental, you want to make sure that you're the very first spot on the page, and that no other, of uh, none of your other competitors are advertising on your search. And once again, that is definitely something we're going to talk about: uh, competitors advertising on your search, and then informational queries. Um, informational queries are, um, you know. Let's see, it could be just the word toothache. You know, that might be an informational query. Somebody's just looking for information on a toothache, and that would be a very low commercial intent keyword. We're not sure if they are if they actually have a toothache, um, you know, whatever it may be. Um, and it, someone might type in uh, help with toothaches. Okay. Now you might you might be asking what's the difference between help with toothaches as an informational query and a query that's the question itself. And sometimes there's very little difference, and sometimes there's you'll see an overlap between some of these categories. Um, but there is a slight difference. What to do is a question.